Hello, you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation. Here we are finding the value of x. Let's rewrite this as 2 raised to power 3, then raised to power x plus 2 raised to power x equals to 222. From here, 2 raised to power 3 is the same thing as 8. Then we can interchange this power from the law of indices. And this can be written as 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 3, then plus 2 raised to power x equals to 222. And from here, we have 2 raised to power x common here. Let's use a letter. So let y be equals to 2 raised to power x. And this equation can be written in terms of y, and this will be y raised to the power 3 plus y equals to 222. And in the next step, let's take 222 to this side, and this will give us y raised to the power 3 plus y, then minus 222 now will be equals to 0. So this Minus 222 as well, we can write it again, and that will be minus 216 minus 6. So this will become y raised to the power 3 plus y minus 216 minus 6 will then be equal to 0. Then also let's rearrange this, and we have y raised to the power 3 minus 216, then plus y minus 6 equals to 0 <coughs> and from here we can write 216 to a number is power 3 <coughs> excuse me a number is power 3 and that's 6 raised to power 3 we have y raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 then plus y minus 6 equals to 0 and from here we can from this identity, we can write this in another way, and this will be y minus 6, then multiply by y square plus y times 6, that's 6y, then plus 6 square, then close bracket, then we have plus y minus 6 here, which is equal to 0. And from here we have two we have what is common here as y minus six y minus six we bring it out that's y minus six out then what is left here we have y square plus six y plus six square is thirty six then when we take this out y minus six out we have plus one left here then equals to zero same thing as y minus 6 multiplied by y square plus 6y plus 37 equals to 0. So from here we have two possible cases here. We have y minus 6 equals to 0. Or we have from here y square plus 6y plus 37 equals to 0. And from here, y is equals to 6. And then, we represented y as 2 raised to the power x. From here, we let y to be equals to 2 to the power of x. So when we write y to, as 2 to the power of x, this will become 2 raised to the power x. Then, equals to 6. Then from here, we can take the log on both sides. When we take the log on both sides, we have log... 2 raised to the power x equals to log 6. Log 2 raised to the power x equals to log 6. From here, this power can be taken to the back here. And uh, this will give us, we have from here, x log 2 now. We have x log 2 will then be equals to log 6. And uh, from here, we can divide both sides by log 2 here. So log 2 divided by log 2 here 
also divide by log 2 from here and log 2 we cancel log 2 here what we have left here we have x equals to log 6 we can write that as log 3 times 2 that is log 2 times 3 here then over log 2 2 times 3 is still 6 then we can separate this log and this will be x equals to log 2 plus log 3 then all over log 2 then we can also separate this fraction from here and this will be x equals to log 2 over log 2 plus log 3 over log 2 and from here log 2 cancel log 2 here we have 1 that's x equals to 1 plus from here this is log 2 we can write this from change of base and this will be log 3 to base 2 so we have the value of x here to be 1 plus log 3 base 2 and uh, from this side let's see whether we are going to have a resolution from this quadratic equation using the discriminant b square minus 4ac from here b here is 6 so we have 6 square minus 4 times a is 1 6 37 and 6 square we have 36 so this gives us 36 minus 4 times 37 we have 448 so this gives us 148 and then we can see from here that this gives us minus 112 which is less than 0 so from here we have no resolution here no resolution from here then therefore the solution to this problem is x equals to 1 plus log 3 base 2 thank you for watching please share this video subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on see you next class and bye for now